I'm Kathy Savage. I'm an artist in Austin, Texas, and I have a studio over at Canopy. I've been working as an artist for the last um, 20 years. I actually have an art degree, and I did take a detour for a bit and worked in high tech recruiting, which was great because I got some corporate experience. So I did that for a bit, and then I realized this is really not the path that I'm supposed to be on. So I quit my job with no fallback plan and decided I was going to try and be an artist. Interestingly enough, I kind of been focusing on math and science. I discovered Newton when I was taking an intro to astronomy class in college. I thought I was going to be looking at stars through a telescope. Oh my gosh, it was really hard and involved a lot of math and there was no stargazing whatsoever. But I learned a lot about physics for the non-science person. So then fast forward all the years that I did graphic design and then I did high tech and then I was starting to get back into printmaking. I went to Niagara Falls in 2000 and there's a statue of Nikola Tesla there and this was before Elon Musk and the whole Tesla Motor Company. So then I went on this quest to try and find more about him. I can't explain why I was drawn to him so much, I think, because he was so passionate about what he was doing and he wasn't that concerned about money. He loved science for the sake of science. And I love that he was a visual thinker and was coming up with these things that he knew in his mind were gonna work, even though they weren't necessarily done on paper. Anyway, so I had this love affair with Tesla for a while and then I did some pieces on Kepler and Brahe. I'll do like some reading about the different scientists and I'll find something that is inspiring me that's kind of like the, the trigger, I guess, to, to do the work. And I'll come up with the idea and then it, it really kind of comes in a, it comes in like a rush. I like these graphics. Putting everything together is, I like the big thinker, and then something that is interesting, visually interesting. I don't always understand the science behind it. I understand the basics, but it's intriguing enough for me to try and learn about it. Uh, with printmaking, with the, with the stuff that doesn't work out, you accumulate a lot of paper, and the paper is expensive, and so I have like stashes of paper. I have bins of blues, reds, blacks, all different colors of rejections, which studio mate hates because I'm kind of, I'm like a hoarder when it comes to paper. This is a relatively new piece. These are prints and I just came in to play, which is, which is not what I normally do. I mean, when I come into my studio, I am working and I was coming in, I'm like, I'm just going to, these are monotypes, they're very free and easy. And, and even though I used some stencils, which would indicate that I have some kind of form that I was going after. I was really just coming in here and playing, and it was so fun. <laughs> so Print Austin is a nonprofit organization around uh, celebrating traditional printmaking. When I was in college, I studied lithography and fell in love with printmaking. It was my last semester, even though I was Kind of on the graphic design track, I just fell really deep for printmaking. I was part of a professional art organization about printmaking here, and what was lacking was a way to kind of organize the greater population of Austin. So another colleague and I got together and we were like, we should do something. And luckily we had a great model that was happening in Houston to work off of, and printmakers are very open and collaborative artists because usually we're we're working around the press and so we're always asking each other about different techniques and how did you do that how did you do that and uh, I don't know I just think that we're a very friendly bunch and so I contacted the folks in Houston and I was like listen we want to do this in Austin what do you think and they're like oh yeah this is great we'll tell you everything that we've learned please follow exactly what we've done or use it as a as a blueprint which we did, and so we, we did change things so that it would fit more with the Austin culture. This is our seventh year of putting on a printmaking festival, and we have a, a print expo where we bring in more, uh, artists from all over the place, mostly regional. We have about a dozen people coming from our state, so 
we didn't even do any advertising for the artist. So the word has gotten out that we do this expo and registration filled up without us having to do anything, which is, you know, which is great. So it's been lots of fun. It's a, certainly a labor of love. I do a lot of work with Print Austin, and since there are really only two of us that are uh, the worker bees, it's, um, you know, it's time consuming, but it's fun. I mean, I even love doing the bookkeeping. <laughs> I love everything about it.